A mad homeowner is often in two different categories because they purchased a property in an HOA and they have no idea how an association works or they don't agree with the board's decisions and in general they feel out of control. If you purchased in an HOA, you might have had a story that started out a little bit like this. I love this property. I love the price. I love the neighborhood, everything about it. I have been looking forever for this property. What? It's in an HOA? I, I guess that's okay. Let me get this straight. I just pay this small fee every month. Sounds pretty good. Uh, I'll do that. Their expectation is I moved into this community so I could get all these things taken care of for me. What the heck happened? Why, why am I not having my needs met? Because the board of directors are trying to make executive decisions for the entire community. The board has to receive all these complaints and then to the best of their ability, look at every single person's needs and try to address them. Sure, ideally a board wouldn't wait to have things done. See, the board approved a budget and that budget only has a certain amount of money. How much do they cost? What does our reserve study say? And then going back again to the budget and trying to figure out if they have enough money. And the reality is you're, you're not the only one who has an issue. There's a bunch of other people in the community that have issues or problem gets put in the stack to be dealt with. One of the biggest things that pisses people off in an HOA is communication or lack thereof. As a homeowner, you're sitting there thinking, well, I don't have any control. What are they up to? And that's the purpose of meeting minutes. If you can't attend a board meeting, check the meeting minutes. What's the board doing? What are they figuring out? What decisions are they making? But if you're a homeowner in an HOA, have you ever been on the board? It might be something that you want to take into consideration. It's not easy. One of the big disconnects is the common complaint. Why are our dues increasing? I was hoping that they would actually lower. No? Oh, they're going to increase over time? Oh, uh, my realtor didn't tell me that. The reality is prices go up. There's a lot of money to keep the association going. So when your dues get increased, it's also increasing their dues. They're being impacted by this. We're tracking the reserve study. We wanna make sure we have enough money for the future. What happens if your association does not increase their dues? I'll tell you, you're gonna get a nice letter in the mail that says you and the rest of your community, you have to dish out hundreds or thousands of dollars on top of your HOA due to catch up financially for a roofing project that you guys have to have completed. We understand that living in an HOA has frustrations. We get it. Do all board members make the best decisions for the community at all times? No. Is it fair that you've been waiting two or three years for a new shrub? Mm, not really. But what we do know is that board members, they have a difficult job. They get to make unpopular decisions for long-term goals financially for the community. I wonder why most homeowners don't want to become board members. Hmm. Living in an HOA can be a positive experience, a paradigm shift. Your concerns are part of a larger or bigger picture. If you have a hard time with the reality that living in an HOA means you don't have control, perhaps you should consider living in a single family home. But keep in mind, if you need new siding or if you have a roof that needs to be replaced, you're not gonna have the HOA there to bail you out. That's gonna be on you. An HOA focuses on making decisions so that your property values stay high. At HOA Assist, we understand the frustrations of living in an HOA. We are association property managers. That's our background. And why we created this educational material is because we wanted to address the common things that homeowners complain about and the frustrations that they have about living in an HOA. Because ultimately, our goal is that you would enjoy living in an HOA. Make sure to subscribe to our HOA Assist YouTube channel. See you next time.